This episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break is dedicated to a one Douglas Smiley and another one Oliver Gray. Two individuals that do not believe that uh, video reviews of beers are good things, but um, hopefully I can prove that to you, that they are terrible in fact. So here's my best uh, example of, yeah, a terrible beer review. No, actually, uh, this is a really good beer. It's one I've had. It's been a long time since I've had this beer, maybe about a year or so. Um, this one is Outcast IPA by Crux Fermentation Project. Um, I gotta find this. Uh, yeah, okay, I thought so. Out of Bend, Oregon is, is where they're from. They don't distribute much. Um, I think they're just inside Oregon, and I don't even think they distribute to all of Oregon. I think the majority of the time you actually have to get their stuff from the actual brewery, and I don't think they bottle a whole lot. I've gotten this from my connection up there, um, Emily Bowling. So thank you very much to Emily Bowling. This is the second time she's gotten me one of these beers because the first time I remember enjoying it quite a bit. Anyway, um, Outcast IPA um, by Crux Fermentation Project. They do a really great job with their labels. Very interesting, cool stuff. If you can see, obviously it says Outcast IPA and how they have this kind of cut out here. Um, really, really interesting. Um, my wife is a big fan of these. Anyway, uh, the IPA is 8% and it's 60 IBUs apparently. Go ahead and taste this. Look at it, smell it, taste it, all that. That's what I do, Doug and, and Oliver. Do you go by Doug? I don't know if you go by Doug. I'm going to call you Doug. Anyway, here we go. Oh, plenty of carbonation as I'm pouring it. Getting some nice head to it already. It's not going to make it hard to get the aromatics, which makes me excited. As I expected, very orangish beer. Um, pretty see-through. It doesn't look like it's been... Um, it doesn't look like it's been left with a whole lot of sediment or anything, although it, that could be sitting on the bottom. It doesn't appear so from that. But anyway, smells kind of like I remember it. Got a nice floral note to it. Very citrusy, but it's got this kind of nice caramelly finish. It's like a mixture of like a very juicy, tart orange with some caramel notes attached to the end of, of that smell. It smells really good, super hoppy, just hop oil like crazy. It's, it's extremely vibrant, and this is how I remember it being. Um, it's got some mango scent in there, some a little bit of pineapple to it, nice tropicalness, and as you can see as I'm swirling it, it's having no problem just building up a gigantic head. It's about how I remember it. Vibrant in the flavor, basically the same as what I was getting in the aroma. Yeah, just the super uh, large amount of hop oils to it. It's kind of grassy. It's got this finishing bitterness that's, um, it's not too much. It's actually really nice and then it like kind of dissipates off your palate, which gives you that kind of like orange peel flavor to it. Um, but definitely, uh, lots of citrus to it, uh, grassy notes, and it tastes good. It's very, very vibrant. The mouthfeel, hmm, the mouthfeel is pretty medium. Um, I would expect that um, with 8%, I say 8%, 8% yeah, 8% alcohol, that it would be probably about where it is, yeah, pretty medium on the, on the body. You take a beer like this and you make it a double IPA, and it's really going to increase the body and make it even more juicy, which I would love to taste a double IPA version of this beer. Basically, take it, make it a double. It would be amazing. But this is really nice. It's, it's really in your face with the hops. The bitterness isn't too much, like I said. And it's a nice sipping IPA. Lots of flavor, so hence the sipping. You can't quite guzzle something like that. So anyway, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, viewing this video, Oliver and Doug, Dougie, I don't know, I'm going to call you Dougie now, Dougie, Oliver and Dougie, um, hope you enjoyed hating on this video, because I know you will, uh, tell me how terrible it is, and Crux Fermentation Project, awesome stuff, this is actually the second time I'm having this beer, it's the only beer by them I've ever had, although I have their Tough Love, which is a barrel-aged um, stout in the basement, and I can't wait to get into that, but putting that off for now. Maybe it'll be a brutal beer break thing. Maybe it'll be on the actual podcast. 
Anyway, check out the podcast, Brutal Battle, at BrutalBattle.com. Uh, iTunes, Stitcher, all that jazz. Send me uh, emails at BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. Let me know if there's anything, anything specific you want to see me drink on this, or if there's anything on the podcast you want me to drink and review. It's up to you, you know? Interaction, it's a good thing, right? So anyway, thank you everyone, and take it easy.